finally we are going to start with our fourth section that is javascript previously we have seen topics which are needed in this project as of now i'm just going to remove this entire thing now first what we are going to do whatever ids we have given here for username email password and confirm password we are going to access that as well as for form first we are going to access that ids using get element by id i will just create one variable form is equal to we have to write this document dot get element by id if you want to know more about dom i have already created complete series on dom you can watch that videos to get better understanding on get elements by id get elements by class name etc so here i am going to write my id name in html we have already given the id so same name i am just going to write similarly i want for username email password and confirm password now i will change the name username this variable whatever we are giving you can give anything but inside this you have to pass the exact name what we have given for this id attribute now here also to select multiple data we are just doing alt i will write email then next password finally confirm password i will remove from here now we have accessed all the variables now if you see here in my design i am having green border as well as i am having red border along with this message why we are getting this kind of styling because in index.html we have hard coded this classes success and error as of now i am going to remove this and also i am going to remove this i will save now you can see whatever stylings i have given for those classes that will be removed i will come to script.js if you have not watched how to style this form how to apply those styling you can watch css part if you are giving your own stylings accordingly you have to change the code now when this validation should happen whenever i click on the submit button only then that validation should happen so we are going to write event listener it is just going to listen for that event on which i have to apply for this form i will be writing my form variable dot add event listener what event listener that is submit whenever i click on this submit listener whatever validation is going on that should happen and next parameter we are just going to pass here function i will save i will just write some number as soon as i click on submit you can see whatever number i have written here that is been disappeared because what happens whenever we click on submit button the form gets submitted so whatever data we are having that will disappear so we will be preventing that i will write here event inside this we are just going to pass one function prevent default i will save this i will give number now when i click on submit you can see the number is still here if i don't prevent this one whatever data we are having it will not validate and directly the form will be submitted so we are going to write this by default now if you notice here whenever i click on this i am getting this suggestion so what happens if you are having your personal email or company email or if you are having your username and if you do not want people to see that we can add one attribute inside html here for all this input fields i am just going to add one attribute auto complete auto complete is equal to off so by default it will be on so we are just writing off 
I will save this. Now whenever I click on this, you can see I will not be getting any suggestion. I do not want to show my personal data. So I am just going to off that. Now what I have to check if my username, email, password and confirm password should not be empty. So here I am going to check if my username is equal to empty then I should be getting one alert username is empty. Save this. When I write some data here and click on submit button, I am not having this alert. I will remove this. Now when I click on submit, again I am not having that alert. If I just open my console, you can see Inside this also no error is displayed which means our code is fine but whatever logic we have given here that is not accepting. So what we have to check we are not going to check for entire input field. We will be checking for this value present inside this input field. So username dot value. If this value is empty then I should be getting this alert. Save this. Now when I click on the submit button, I will be getting this alert, username is empty. I will write some data. Now click on submit, I will not be having any error. You can just write here else. Same, I will copy. If my username is filled with something, I will write username is success. Save this. Now without filling username, if I click on submit, I will get username is empty. Now even if I write one character and click on submit, I will get username is success. First validation we are able to achieve to check if the fields are empty or not. Now what I want, instead of this alert, I just want to show the error messages. I will just open my demo project. This is my demo project. As soon as I click on submit, you can see Instead of alert, I am having this stylings. Username must be at least three characters. Email is not valid. All these things I have to get. And for this, we have already given the stylings. I will remove this. For error, we are going to create one function. Error message. Why we are creating function? Because multiple times we are displaying error messages. So we are creating one function. And for this success message also, we are going to create one function, success message. Directly, I have just called this function. We have not passed any arguments. It is not going to work. Now, I will come to my project. Now, if I click on submit, I will open console. In my console, you can see, I will be getting this error. Error message is not defined. Now, if I fill some data, click on submit. Success message is not defined because we have not created the function. We have just called the function. First, we are going to create the function. I will just write error message function. Whatever names you want to give to your function, you can easily give it. Function error message. Inside this, I have to pass parameters. First is my field. And second is the message which has to be displayed. So I am going to give input. You can give any name. And second will be the message. Error message. I will come to index.html. In this small, I have to display my error message. And small is the child of this diff container. I will open my stylings. Style.css. Inside this, if you see. Whenever we are having this small tag, I will come down. Whenever our parent is having this form control, in that we are passing this error class. That time, we are just making the visibility of small to be visible. So first, what we have to do inside this error message? First, we have to find the parent. So I am just going to create one variable. Const. And here you can give any variable name form control is equal to this is our input whenever we are passing arguments we are going to pass this variable names 
for username for email for password and confirm password so our username parent element parent element i'm just going to access that parent element let me just write here log and inside this i will write form control save this i will click on submit i will come here okay as of now i am having this error i will comment it out as well as i am going to comment it out for this one here i will pass username message i am just going to write required because we have to pass two arguments as we have passed here two parameters i will click on submit i will come to console now you can see i am able to access the parent element this is my user input field you can see id is username for this using this parent element i am able to access this entire diff container now what we have to do we just have to make the error classes active i will comment it out not only for this one let me just show you again now instead of this username if i just pass email save this click on submit now here when i open id is email and for this also i am able to access this diff container now below this i will write form control dot class name we are just going to add the class name what class name we have to add we have to add error class save this whenever our error class is active we have to make the small tag as visible now when i click on submit button you can see here for email my small tag is active error message will be displayed here whatever i have given here that is displayed but if you closely notice here my error class is active but whatever classes i am having inside this email for this parent form control that is overridden i will inspect this now you can see here inside this console for diff class we are only having error only this error class is added but the parent class form control is overridden so we have to add form control as well i will just come i will copy the class i will just paste it i will save this now when i click on submit you can see properly i will be getting the error message whatever error message i have given for this small that will be displayed so do not get confused with this error message how we are displaying first we are accessing the parent and in that parent we are just adding this error class so whatever classes we are having inside parent we just have to add all the classes here because the classes will be overridden now if i just open inspect let me just close this now if you see here for this email form control is also present as well as error class is also present now what i have to do this is the message i required so whenever this class is active instead of this static error i want dynamic error i will just create one variable const small small tag inside this i'm going to select my form control variable dot query selector so inside this parent we are having this small tag so i'm just going to select my small so using this we are able to access the parent and from parent we are just selecting our small tag i will write here query let me just write here console console dot log and inside this i will just pass small save this now when i click on submit i will open this in my console you can see i am able to access this small tag so using this parent we have just accessed our small tag 
which is present here inside index.html. Now what I have to do? I have to add this error message. So small dot inner HTML or inner text is equal to this message. Second argument whatever we are passing here, I am just passing it here. Save this. Now as soon as I click on submit, I will be getting required. Whatever message I pass here, that will be displayed. Now if I just write here, email is required. Save this. Click on submit. I will be getting email is required. So whatever data we are having inside the small tag, even if you remove this, then also no problem. I will remove this. I will remove this. Save. Whenever I click on submit, I am going to get the error message which I have displayed here. So first thing what we have done, we have accessed all our variables. Second, we have just added event listener for our form. So whenever we click on submit button, we are preventing default submission and we are checking for this empty field. So as of now, this is username. So I will write here username and here I am going to write username is required save this click on submit username is required now we are going to create success message when we have filled something my border should be turned green i will copy and below this we are going to create success function function paste this one Inside this success function, we are not passing any message. Directly, we are just displaying the border. If I just write something here, when I click on submit, directly we want the border. So, we are just passing here input field without message parameter. For this also, we are going to select the same thing. We are selecting the parent, paste. Now for this, what class we have to add? We have to add success class. Copy, paste. I will save this. Now here, let me just write here username. Save this. When I click on submit, you can see if the field is empty, I am having username is required. If I write some name, submit, again I am getting same message. Why? Because we have added error class. We have to add success. Save this. Now we are getting for empty. Hanum, click on submit. I am getting green border. Okay, this is very simple. What we are doing? We are just checking if the username value is empty or not. If it is empty, we are displaying this error message. If it is not, we are displaying success message. For error message, we have created this function. What we want? We want to select the field as well as we want to display the message so we are passing two parameters for success also if you want to display the message you can easily do it now this is our username i am just going to write username copy this i will write one comment email then password then confirm password Paste it here, paste it here, as well as paste it here. Now we are just changing the fields. Select this, control D, control D, control D. I am going to write email. Select this, control D, control D, control D. I am going to write password. I will just capitalize. Email is required, password is required. And here, control D, control D, control D. Again, I will write password. Now I have to just write C password. C password is my field. C password. And here, confirm password. Save this. Now, when I click on submit, I will be getting the error messages. Now, if I type something here, Hanum, it is changed to green. For email also, if I write something, click on submit, it is green. 
password also if i type something green confirm password also if i type something it is green as of now we have just checked for only one validation if the fields are empty or not later on one by one we are going to apply all the validations we will check email is valid or not we will check for character length we will check if the passwords are getting matched or not everything we are going to see and also we are not going to display in this way we are going to use for each loop and for every error message or every success message we are going to loop inside the loop and we will be displaying the message so as of now only to show you how we can add error class and success class we have written this code next we are going to see more about validation and we are going to apply all the validations